Greetings and welcome to Rudy Eats and Drinks. Um, today just drinking. Today I have acquired Mountain Dew Whiteout. Now, I do not recall the last time I saw this in a store. So I'm assuming this is technically out of production. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I thought this had passed beyond my grasp. But, lucky for me, uh, well, you always hear Matt Zion talking about how there's the 99 cent store and then the ghetto 99 cent store. Well, I never had a ghetto 99 cent store, but I guess lucky for me, one opened up in my neighborhood. So, now I have a ghetto 99 cent store, and that is where I picked up this. Uh, I really wanted to try this, and uh, now I have an opportunity. Um, I want to just say that, like, I, re I really dig this bottle. It's got like a swirly like grip at the bottom here, and uh, it's got like a little, I don't know if you can make that out, it's like a three-dimensional MD for Mountain Dew, but it's like all rounded off and bubbly. It's like this, uh, it has like a grip on it. Um, it's, uh, it's very ple It has a very pleasing tactile uh, element to it, so uh, I don't know if you want to fondle your bottle. Uh, I guess you can do that. Um, wow, the expiration date on this is May 12th, 2014, which is like two weeks from now. So, yeah, I guess this really is old stock, because isn't soda supposed to last slightly longer than two weeks? So this must have been hanging around for a bit. I think I paid like 60 cents. So, oh, well, there we go. I was going to say, like, there was no fizz. Isn't it supposed to fizz? But uh, it is in date, so I think we should be all right. Uh, I'm not going to bother pouring this out, because as you can see, it's it's just, it's white. It's white out. So, uh, very reminiscent of Squirt. And it says, Smooth Citrus Dew. And that's it. So, caffeine content, 91 milligrams. <laughs> So is this like a Red Bull? Isn't Red Bull like 90 milligrams? I could be wrong. Uh, I find it interesting that Mountain Dew puts the caffeine content on there when uh, a lot of energy drinks don't even do that. But uh, I'm going to give it a whirl here. Uh, I really don't care for the label design, even though I do like the bottle. But uh, I don't know, it just seems kind of like lazy to me. It is a smooth citrus dew, as uh, as Francis would say. It uh, it tastes like uh, like freedom. Uh, it does remind me of. Okay, let me explain the flavors to you. It's like you had Squirt, the beverage, and you poured Mountain Dew into it, or you poured Squirt into Mountain Dew. That is pretty much exactly what the flavor is. Uh, I love it. Uh, do I like it better than regular Mountain Dew? No. I have a feeling uh, I would maybe tire of the flavor a little bit and uh, want to go back to the regular Mountain Dew eventually. Uh... Yeah, it's also, it's a little sweet for me. Actually, it's really sweet for me. But that's pretty much in keeping with um, Mountain Dew products in general. This one has 280 calories per bottle. I do like that they list a serving as the whole bottle and not like 2.5 servings per bottle, which is, uh, which is a scam. But... Uh, I prefer the Diet Mountain Dew simply because it is not as sweet. But overall, this is a darn fine beverage. Uh, everyone, refresh my memory. Was this part of like a? I seem to remember a contest where you like voted for your favorite flavor, and 
one made it, and I, I don't know. I think they just ended up making them all anyways. But uh, refresh my memory on that if anybody, if anybody would Google that because I'm lazy. Um, I really hope that this uh, comes back or is back or hadn't really gone away because I would I would drink this on occasion. I could see myself craving this. Uh, so yeah, I could drink that. So thank you for joining me. And uh, next time I will have something uh, that is very nearly but not quite expired too. <coughs>